hi guys welcome back to another video uh, in the last video I have mentioned only the step of how to uh, bypass the download limit of uh, mega using the siphon software okay at that time I was not downloading any files with mega so I could not uh, live uh, demonstrate it but uh, few people get confused on how to do that one but I'm gonna show you uh, right now how to do that one okay so here uh, I kept uh, some files on downloading with the mega uh, you can see like 3 GB is already used okay and my download is uh, stop here so I'm gonna use a uh, siphon software to bypass this one actually how this work is like whenever you are using a uh, mega to download any files uh, this will track your IP address so if you use siphon software it will change uh, it will act as a VPN and it will change your IP and location so that a new IP will be new uh, temporary IP will be assigned to your system so that uh, you can bypass the download limit so you suppose here uh, my IP address has been changed and my location also changed now if I go to uh, mega let me let me cancel this one so you need to first uh, close this program and rerun the program okay okay now open mega again now you can see like it's it started downloading again because a new IP and new location has been assigned by the siphon software so mega the uh, started downloading okay now if I disconnect my siphon then you can see like it has been stopped the download also because your uh, permanent IP uh, has been assigned again so if I go to here browser and if I open anything okay Facebook even though my internet is working fine but the download has been stopped it's because of <coughs> IP address so that's all thank you so much for watching and keep downloading and keep learning new things